Deflagration and detonation. An easy explanation the two phases of explosion. Deflagration and detonation. Various forms of explosions exist around us, from the burning of firewood, the flame of a gas range, to TNT or C4 explosions. These explosions are all phenomena where energy is rapidly released due to chemical reactions, but they can be divided into two types depending on the speed and form of energy release, deflagration and detonation. 1. Deflagration, an explosion where the flame propagates slowly Deflagration is an explosion where the combustion wave propagates at a speed below the speed of sound. 1. Think of the sight of a bonfire burning or a gas range flame. 1. These flames interact with the surrounding environment and propagate slowly, with relatively low pressure changes. 1. Characteristics 1. The flame propagates slowly. 2. The pressure change is relatively gentle. 3. It has low destructive power. 4. It often makes a dull explosion sound. 4. Examples, bonfire, gas range flame, gasoline vapor explosion. 1. Detonation. Supersonic flame and powerful force detonation is an explosion where the combustion wave propagates at a speed above the speed of sound. 1. Think of TNT or C4 explosions. 1. These explosions have tremendous pressure and destructive power, and they generate a sharp explosion sound and a powerful shock wave. 1. Characteristics. 1. The flame propagates at supersonic speed. 2. It has extremely high pressure changes. 3. It has high destructive power. 4. It often makes a sharp and powerful explosion sound. 4. Examples, TNT explosion, C4 explosion, high pressure gas explosion. 1. Comparison of deflagration and detonation explosions are phenomena where energy is rapidly released, and they appear in various forms around us. 1. Explosions can be broadly classified into deflagration and detonation, and the two differ in combustion wave speed, pressure change, destructive power, explosion sound, examples, etc. 2. Combustion wave speed. In the case of deflagration, the combustion wave propagates at a speed below the speed of sound. 2. It's like the sight of a bonfire burning or a gas range flame being turned on. 2. On the other hand, in the case of detonation, the combustion wave propagates at a speed above the speed of sound. 2. TNT explosions or C4 explosions are typical examples. 3. Pressure change, deflagration brings about a relatively gentle pressure change. 3. Detonation causes extremely high pressure changes, which leads to powerful destructive power. 4. Destructive power, deflagration has low destructive power. 4. Detonation has high destructive power and can cause serious damage to the surrounding environment. 5. Explosion sound, deflagration often makes a dull explosion sound. 5. Detonation generates a sharp and powerful shock wave, causing a loud noise. 6. Examples. Examples of deflagration include bonfires, gas range flames, gasoline vapor explosions, etc. 6. Examples of detonation include TNT explosions, C4 explosions, high pressure gas explosions, etc. 7. Interesting facts. In deflagration, the flame interacts with the surrounding environment and propagates, while in detonation, the flame itself creates a pressure wave and propagates. 7. Deflagration can transition to detonation depending on the type of explosive, mixing ratio, environment, etc. 7. Both deflagration and detonation can cause casualties and property damage, so safety should be taken into account. 8. Looking for deflagration and detonation around us There are many examples of deflagration and detonation around us. 8. Deflagration 1. Bonfire 2. Gas range flame 3. Firecracker 4. Gasoline vapor explosion 5. Wildfire detonation 6. TNT explosion 7. C4 explosion 8. High pressure gas explosion 9. Combustion in an engine 10. Supersonic aircraft engine 1. Why understanding deflagration and detonation is important Deflagration and detonation appear in various places in our lives, and it is important to recognize their dangers and respond safely. 2. Prevention of safety accidents. You need to understand the characteristics of deflagration to prevent fires in case of gas range flame leakage. 2. When handling chemical substances, you need to be aware of the risk of explosion and take safety measures. 2. 
efforts are needed to prevent the spread of deflagration in case of a wildfire. 3. Advancement of science and technology. Understanding the principles of deflagration and detonation is important for the development of engines, rockets, etc. 3. Research for the safe manufacture and use of explosives requires an understanding of deflagration and detonation. 4. Understanding historical events. To understand the power of explosions that occurred in past wars or terrorist incidents, you need to recognize the difference between deflagration and detonation. 4. Knowledge of deflagration and detonation can be helpful in analyzing the causes and results of historical events. 5. Deeper understanding of deflagration and detonation. Various experiments and simulations are being conducted to study the scientific principles of deflagration and detonation more deeply. 5. Research on deflagration and detonation will continue for explosion safety, energy efficiency improvement, advancement of science and technology, etc. 6. Conclusion Deflagration and detonation appear in various forms around us, and it is important to recognize their dangers and respond safely. 6. Understanding deflagration and detonation plays an important role in various fields such as prevention of safety accidents, advancement of science and technology, understanding of historical events, etc. 7. Closing, I hope today's video has helped solve your curiosity. 7. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. 7. Thank you.